in this class we will talk about ethics case study section whenever you are talking about problems of case studies start with the newton's third law every action has an equal and opposite reaction now whenever we are talking about case studies it is incomplete without understanding that there are two parties involved so whenever you have two parties involved there is a conflict situation and there is an action reaction condition that occurs so we would be going through the various case studies in this session to help you better understand what we mean by the perspective so you have two people two action two reaction and that's what you have to bring into your answers and then a course of action that's another probable kind of questions that are asked for your case studies problem so to resolve any kind of conflict situation that is there that is what is the case study is you have to focus on the ethical aspect and this ethical aspects comes from two things so what upsc actually looks for in the answer is firstly your perspective considering the fact how do you think that this perspective would affect the parties so this what bring out your eth ethical stand in the answers the second most important is bringing the answers on a holistic approach so consider all facts of the problem it can be social fact it could be economic fact it could be psychological facts and all those factors should be clubbed up under your answers in your ethics problems and the third is before starting your answer the key thing is brainstorm think twice think thrice before you start so brainstorming is one of the most important aspects of any of the ethics problem now here we would be discussing three ethics problem each from a different front and those three ethics problem would help you sail through the idea of perspective the holistic approach and brainstorming that we are talking about now the first case study is a case study where there was a officer who was very very honest during his duties and after his retirement he caught up with a very severe disease he went to a doctor for the treatment and the doctor recognized that officer saying that you were the one who saved us uh, during the courtroom process and during all the processes that happened and uh, that's why i am highly obliged that you are at our clinic here and i will do all the procedures all the surgeries that are required free of cost now here since the officer is very very honest he uh, says that i won't be accepting it free of cost and here is where a ethical issue comes in so again firstly the perspective so two perspective two persons the officer and the doctor so what does the perspective stands for from the officer's point of view and the doctor's point of view that you have to mention the second thing is a holistic approach so from the officers and the doctors point of view bring in all the dimensions holistically but before that think a while so let's start with the perspective of the two so let's say we have officer's perspective officer believe that he did his duty when he was on job he did his duty with devotion so there are ethical constructs regarding uh, the payment of the procedure that he is undergoing so the next important thing is he was committed to his work and he believes doctor should be committed to the work as well so there should be no uh, discounts that should be offered or no free of cost service no no charitable services that should be offered and that stands for the integrity of the officer on the other hand let's took the perspective uh, let's take a look on to the perspective of the doctor from the doctor's perspective doctor is kind and compassionate towards the officer doctor has a feeling of thanks giving or gratitude and that's what is revealed in the passage the next important thing is the feeling of empathy the feeling of paying back so all the uh, Uh, the dues that had been on him he wants to simply pay back it and that's the perspective of the doctor doctor is doing his duty with utmost dev uh, devotion but along with that there is an idea that i have to pay back or the feeling of gratitude so that's the perspective of the doctor <clears throat> now how do you think 
द कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन कैन गो द कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन कैन गो दैट डॉक्टर कैन डू एज वॉट डॉक्टर सेड और द ऑफिसर कैन स्टैंड बाय हिज व्यू सेंग दैट आई वुड ओनली अंडर गो सर्जरी इफ यू आर एक्सेप्टिंग द चार्जेस फॉर इट थैंक्स फॉर योर काइंडनेस एनी वेज वी वुड बी रेगुलरली इन टच वी वुड बी रेगुलरली विजिटिंग योर ऑफिस ऑल द थिंग्स आउटसाइड द प्रोफेशनल वर्ल्ड इज फाइन सो दैट्स द कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन एंड दैट्स समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू ब्रिंग इन द सेकेंड थिंग विल बी ब्रेन स्ट्रॉम इज सिंस ही इज एन ऑफिसर he believes that he has a capability to pay for the expenses so it's unethical if he does not pay out his expenses he can rather ask the doctor to do a treatment for a needy person who actually requires it on my behalf even if he wants to do it for free or at a discounted rate the next is it would be highly unethical from the perspective of the officer since he is an honest officer to do a duty or to take the services without cost so ethical moral aspects come into play and thirdly is the feeling from the officer side that it's just a duty that he did so as i said newton's third law two persons two actions two reactions so it's a kind of uh, play that you have to understand for every case study that comes in so here was the first one the next one is another interesting study where there is a person who gets a job at a chemical factory he is very happy with the job with the perks that are offered with the salary and indeed he is the only earning mem- member of the family supporting the entire family uh, which is basically from the very grassroots level and is in a dire need for the salary to have uh, the basic expenses to meet the basic expenses of the family now after few weeks the person realizes that this chemical factory is emitting a lot of hazardous waste into the drainage and that drainage is affecting the life of the vicinity the villagers in the vicinity now since he is the only earner he knows that if he leaves the job there would be a severe crisis in the family on the other hand the ethical construct does not allow him to leave the job so again two perspectives leaving the job not leaving the job two parties that if he speaks out something he would be uh, out of the job if he does not he can earn but he feels that it is highly unethical now if we go on to the since principle as given by gandhi uh, we can understand that business without morality is a uh, one of the major sins that mahatma gandhi has advocated so according to that gandhian philosophy if he works on if he maintains his morality he has to do something now two perspectives again first is he can start a campaign for a cause you can consider any of the leaders as of now let's talk about sadguru campaigning for environment planting of trees uh, protecting of kaveri one of the recent ones so the idea is start a cause campaign and once uh, the person starts a cause campaign might be he gets much more out of it from uh, as from the job he is getting so he is able to help the family as well he can start a mission for the same purpose that's one of the ways the next is he can go to the village make the people aware of the problems they have the diseases that they are facing because of the impurities in the water and then file a public interest litigation on behalf of the villagers and become a role model for the villagers he can later be part of the uh, the local area grassroots la- uh, area development committee there so he might get a po- prospective job in that region the next important thing that we can point out here is going to ngt filing a plea with ngt a petition with ngt uh, ngt the national green tribunal is one of the important aspects here that could be brought in the third important aspect is environmental awareness so uh, report to the media make people aware of it make the villages aware of it make the surrounding vicinity uh, cities aware of it and the harms that they are uh, witnessing because of this hazardous waste going into the drain systems again that is on the front of the individual with the society now individual with the company individual can plead to the company to 
improve the uh, the uh, sewerage systems or the uh, uh, drainage systems that are there the next important part that could be done is reminding the company about the corporate social responsibility meeting the chairperson of the committee uh, company saying that we should do something so there are two fronts again here one is to move out of the company leave the job switch and think of another job and become a role model for the villagers and do a kind of social activism environmental activism the other is bring reforms within the company so it could be in the form of uh, talking about the managerial post visiting them making them aware of the csr the corporate social, social responsibility taking a lead role in the csr responsibilities that are being assigned in the company being a active uh, member of the csr committee the next is talking about enhancing technological solutions to bring out a Uh, solution to the problem proper waste disposal proper waste management should be guided because none of the company would be happy if hefty fines are imposed on it so bringing a quicker solution a quick remedy is one of the things that could be done so there are two approaches again uh, you have to think on what approach you need to focus on or either bring both the approaches bring a kind of holistic perspective into your answer as i said and make your answer much more interesting let's talk about another uh, issue which has been of recent coming up and that's transgender problems so let's say you are posted into a community or a city as a district magistrate where you have a huge amount of transgender population and uh, among them begging is a common means of livelihood now uh, this definitely affects the other people who are commuting into the city uh, because there are issues of harassments coming up so what could be done by you as a district magistrate to solve this problem now again two perspective two fronts one is thinking from the perspectives of the transgender population the other is thinking from the perspective of the common people in the uh, transgender majority population area so the two approaches two thoughts two actions two reactions so what we can do here is uh, one is think about the transgender population the discrimination that they face the social alienation that they have you have the issues of isolation uh, there are problems which are related to the rights the interest and as a result they have no other option but to start with the begging activity in order to have their livelihood so that's the perspective from the transgender population from the perspective of a common man it is a lot of harassment the cities are not safe uh, the fair treatments are not given and there are no active remedies that are made for uh, the uh, people to roam about into the city uh, freely so what should be the course of action the course of action could be firstly bringing an ideological change into the mindset of the people so that they start accepting the transgender population as a part of their population bringing much more awareness about among the people bringing a lot of education among the people about the uh, the problems they have uh, about the challenges they face and bringing this conversation to a normalization con uh, conversation so uh, having workshops conferences uh, posters hoardings could be some of the ways under which uh, the things could be smoothened in the city and next is bringing in enrichment centers where uh, they can the transgender population can actually have a role in the development so they think about activities other than begging in order to have their livelihood the next very important suggestion that could be part up here would be creating dedicated centers where these transgender population can work behind the scene so let's say there are lots of radio telecast programs that are there now this is totally behind the scene program so by that they can have voice over the radio that could go uh, behind the scene programs and as a result they could have their livelihood that could be earned they can have a respectable position into the society and their message from themselves only could be conveyed to the society so there should be some kind of awareness campaigns 
social campaigns that could be released and as a district magistrate you can start some of the programs that are uh, helping specifically the transgender population some of the sections uh, in the jobs that are targeting only to the transgender population and that's one of the very good ways in which the issue could be smoothened up into the region so here were some of the case studies that we focused on the conflict situations and a quick idea about and solutions for the conflict resolution so there can be three approaches to it one is the approach approach uh, uh, resolution one is the approach avoidance and the other is avoidance avoidance so either you avoid both of the parties avoid the situation one approaches the other avoids and both of those approach the situation so there are various ways under which you can lay down your perspectives but bring in a clear thought that they have to be a perspective from both the end elaborate on those and then a course of action by both of those which would be the reaction to the problem so the action reaction that's what we uh, is what we focus under the ethics case studies very very important for your upcoming tomorrow's paper so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead we'll be coming up with many more lectures ahead have a wonderful day good luck for your exam